what is the interest that you people are supposed to pay for debenture it is 10 percent this will be the cost of debt after tax if it is issued at a premium before tax what is the formula my dear students interest divided by net proceeds if you add 1 lakh plus 10,000 it will be 1 lakh 10,000 Hello everybody, I am Divya, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce and Management from Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Today, I welcome you all for the session 3 on your Advanced Corporate Financial Management, that is your unit number 1, Cost of Capital. Moving forward, so the agenda for today's discussion is the concepts and the problem. In the previous class, we have discussed regarding the problems on cost of debentures, irredeemable debt. So we have solved two problems. In this session also, we'll be solving the problems on irredeemable debentures before tax and after tax. Moving forward, problem number three. So let us understand the question first. So in your examination also, my dear students, when it comes to practical paper, it is your responsibility to read the questions carefully. So if you don't read the questions carefully, small adjustment, the amount will mislead. You, you might not understand the question and the amount might be wrong error. So read the question carefully in the practical papers. So let us read the question. A company issued rupees 1 lakh. So what is this? A company issued rupees 1 lakh 10 percent debenture. What is the interest that you people are supposed to pay for debenture? It is 10 percent. What is this interest? Let's write down the given. So what is given? Interest is given. So what is interest? 10% on how many rupees? On 1 lakh rupees. So 10% on 1 lakh. What is this 1 lakh? 1 lakh is a net proceeds. The tax rate applicable to company is 50%. So 50% is the tax rate. So 50% if you convert into decimal, it will be around 50 divided by 100, it will be around 0 0.5. So tax rate is how much? 0 0.5. And compute the cost of debt if the debenture were issued at a par premium of 10% and at a discount of 8%. So issued at a par, we have to calculate and premium is issued at 10% and discount, they have issued at 8%. So let us compute the cost of debt first by issue of par. Issued at par So what is the formula before tax? Before tax formula, interest divided by net proceeds. So what is cost of debt before tax? Interest divided by net proceeds. What is after tax formula? For irredeemable debt, it is interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax. So we have to calculate the interest. So what is the interest? Interest is 10% on 1 lakh. 1 lakh into 10% it will be around 10,000. How much interest will be around 10,000? It will be 10,000. So what is interest? Interest is 10,000. What is your net proceeds? Net proceeds is 1 lakh. Let's solve by using the calculator. 10,000 divided by 1 lakh. It will be around 0 0.1. So what is cost of debt? Issued at a premium before tax. It is 0 0.1. Or if you convert into a percentage it will be 10 percent okay next after tax what is interest 
10,000 is the interest. What is net proceeds? 1 lakh is the net proceeds. 1 minus tax rate. What is tax rate? It is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the tax rate. So 1 minus 0 0.5, it will be 0 0.5 itself. So 10,000 divided by 1 lakh into 0 0.5, it will be around 0 0.05. So cost of debt is equal to 0 0.05 that is your after tax. Moving forward, we have to calculate issued at a premium. Issued at premium. So what is the premium percentage they have issued? It is 10%. 10% premium. So net proceeds 1 lakh into 10%. It is how much? 10,000. So if you add 1 lakh plus 10,000, it will be 1 lakh 10,000. So before tax, what's the formula my dear students? Interest divided by net proceeds. So cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. What is interest? 10,000 is the interest. And what is net proceeds here? Premium we are issuing. So 1 lakh 10,000. 10,000 divided by 1 lakh 10,000. It will be around 0. 090. So it will be around 0 0.090. So what is after tax? After tax, cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus tax. So what is interest? 10,000 is the interest. What is net proceeds? 1 lakh 10,000 is the net proceeds into 1 minus 0.5. So 1 minus 0.5, it will be 0.5. So let's use the calculator and see what is the cost of debt. 10,000 divided by 1 lakh 10,000 into 0.5, it will be almost 0.0454. So this will be the cost of debt after tax if it is issued at a premium. Now, issued at discount. So what is the discount rate? What is the discount rate? It is 8%. Issued at discount, 8%. So let's calculate net proceeds. 1 lakh into... 8 divided by 100. So 1 lakh, 1 lakh into 8 divided by 100, it will be how much? 8,000. It will be 8,000. So if you subtract 1 lakh minus 8,000, since we are issuing at a discount, it will be around 92,000. So it is what? 92,000. Net proceeds is how much? 92,000. So before tax, cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. Interest is 10,000. And what is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is 92,000. So what it is? 92,000. And if you see what is the cost of debt? 10,000 divided by 92,000, it will be around 0 0.108. 0 0.108 is the answer if you are issuing at a discount before tax. Now let us see after tax. Interest divided by net proceeds into 1 minus tax rate. So tax rate will be 0 0.5. So 10,000 divided by 92,000 into 0 0.5. If we do the answer will be 0 0.054. 0 0.054. So this is how you calculate the cost of debt 
issued at a par, issued at a premium and at a discount. We are solving irredeemable debt problem. So irredeemable means what? So during the lifetime of the company, the debenture amount need not be paid by the company. But once the company is closed, they have to give back the debenture money. So that is called as irredeemable. So how do you bifurcate? How do you get to know in your examination whether it is an irredeemable problem or a redeemable problem? So when you look at the question, when if number of years is given, then it is redeemable problem. So they, at that time, you people have to put redeemable formula and compute the cost of debt. Moving further, we have one more problem based on this irredeemable debt only. So it is similar to the previous problems that we have solved. Sharada company issued rupees 5 lakh 12 percent debenture. What is this 5 lakh? 5 lakh is the net proceeds. Let's write down the given. What is given? Net proceeds is given. What is net proceeds? 5 lakh is the net proceeds. And 12 percent debenture. What is this 12 percent? It is interest. And what is the tax rate that is given? 50 percent is the tax rate given. Compute the cost of debt if the debenture is issued at a par, if it is issued at a premium, 10 percent, at a issued at a discount of 5 percent. So we have to solve issued at a par, issued at premium and at a discount. So let us calculate the given first. So what is interest? 5 lakh into 12 percent your interest will be your interest will be how much 60,000 rupees so on 5 lakh 12 percent debenture it is 60,000 rupees and what is the tax rate 50 percent divided by 100 it will be 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 will be your tax rate net proceeds is 5 lakh interest is 60,000 so let's calculate by using issued at par by solving the problem with after tax and before tax formula irredeemable debt. First one issued at par. Cost of debt before tax. So before tax what is the formula my dear students? Interest divided by net proceeds. So what is the interest? Interest is 60,000. Interest is how much? 60,000. What is the net proceeds? It is 5 lakh. Let's use the calculator. 60,000 divided by 5 lakh. It will be 0 0.12 or 12%. So what is this cost of irredeemable debt before tax. Next after tax cost of debt is equal to what is the interest 60,000 divided by 5 lakh into 1 minus tax rate. What is your tax rate? 0 0.5. So 1 minus 0 0.5 it will be what? 0 0.5 only. So 60,000 divided by 5 lakh into 0 0.5. 60,000 divided by 5 lakh into 0 0.5 it will be around 0 0.06 or 6%. So what is this? Cost of irredeemable debt after tax. Moving forward, next issued at a premium. Issued at premium. So what is the premium percentage? Premium percentage is how much? 10%. Net proceeds. 5 lakh is the net proceeds into how many percent? 10 percent. So 5 lakh into 10 percent it will be 50,000. So 5 lakh 50,000 is your net proceeds. So before tax 
cost of debt is equal to what is the interest interest is 60000 interest is 60000 divided by 550000 is the net proceeds so what will be the answer the answer will be 60000 divided by 550000 how much it is 0 0.1090 0.1090 is the answer that is issued at a premium before tax. Now let's calculate after tax K subscript with D that is your cost of debt is equal to 60,000 divided by 5,50,000 into your 0 0.5. 60 thousand divided by 5 lakh 50 thousand into 0 0.5 it will be 0 0.0545 0 0.0545 we have got the answer okay next issued at a discount so what is the discount rate what is the discount rate my dear students discount rate is five percent percent net proceeds if it is issued at a discount 5 lakh into what is the percentage 5 percent so 5 lakh divided by 5 percent it will be 25,000 it will be how much? 25,000. So if you subtract 5 lakh minus 25,000, it is how much? Why? Because we are issuing at a discount. 5 lakh minus 25,000, it will be 4 lakh 75,000. Your discount rate is how much? 4 lakh 75,000. So we are issuing at a discount 60,000 divided by 4 lakh 75,000 it will be how much 0 0.1263 0 0.126 is the answer before tax now let us do after tax cost of debt is equal to 60,000 divided by 4,75,000 into 0 0.5. So, why we have taken directly 0 0.5? 1 minus 0 0.5, it is how much? 0 0.5. So, 1, 0, 0 0.5. So, 60,000 divided by 4,75,000 into 0 0.5, it will be how much? 0 0.5. 063 it will be 0 0.063 so this is how we calculate the cost of irredeemable debt when it is issued at a par issued at a premium and issued at a discount so i'll just move out of the screen you can take up the screenshot problem number three issued at a par before tax and after tax with the formula problem number four issued at a par before tax and after tax issued at a premium, issued at a discount before tax and after tax. So that's it for today, my dear students. Hope you have understood. So in the next class, we'll be discussing the problems on redeemable debt, which is issued at a par premium or a discount. So all that we'll see in the next class. So stay tuned, stay blessed. Uh, so keep smiling. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. Thank you so much.